Hello everybody, thank you very much for watching. My name is Don. Thank you brothers and sisters. I want to do you know, a video about asteroids. The question is why are there so many asteroids passing the Earth in, in just September alone? So many, at least seven. I will deal with these. Seven, at least. Just all them asteroids. Why? I will, I will tell you, I believe that the God's judgment is coming very soon and these, this is a precursor, a warning. I believe the Buru, with its powerful gravitational uh, fields, as it's a massive planet comet, has dragged a lot of the asteroids with it as it comes through the asteroid belts, even knocking some towards the Earth. That's why uh, uh, Brother Ben from Israeli News Live spoke about uh, an insider that works in the government or Pentagon or FEMA knew, no, knew, that knew that we would start to get go through an asteroid debris field or clouds and there would be loads of asteroids beginning from September but gradually getting worse and worse bigger and bigger and more dangerous and more frequent and they would you know gradually get worse and worse by the end of the year into 2021 starting from September and it seems like he's right seven alone NASA had to reveal I will go through them and not only that but they they seem to have known the elite because I thought I just found an article uh, this was an article f from 2017 you know it's a shock asteroid warning planet earth could face 100 years of killer strikes starting in 2017 from the express it says here you know, shock, shock, asteroid warning, planet Earth faced 100 years of killer strikes starting in 2017. And it says here, a previous unknown asteroid belt has been located in deep space, is now hurtling towards our part of the solar system. Listen to this, it means a global killer could strike the Earth as soon as 2020. How do they know that? It was, this article was in 2017. So, yeah, they and it wipe, which could wipe out life as we know it and, and changing the climate. Terrifying predictions came in as NASA revealed disturbing new data showing 400 impacts as expected between 2017 to 2113 based on observational data of objects in space over the past 60 years. Starting to get worse in 2020 so they, obviously they know already uh, we're going to go for this asteroid field. This is God's judgment because of the sins of mankind on the earth. That's what I believe. It, this is a precursor. Not only that, with this virus, coronavirus, this is an all clues that punishment, judgment by God. But God will protect those who faith in, in Jesus Christ and, and, and him. So, so, with, it is here. so not only that, I read that, uh, so that it's like they knew, and that was an article in 2017, and the insider of Israeli News Live said it would begin now and gradually get worse. In fact, I found out we've got a space guard. In other words, uh, they set up a space guard, you know, NASA, etc., to keep an eye on these near earth objects this is here i heard a documentary which says in 1995 space guard was set up in 1995 so you know they're prepared was set up to search it and track near earth objects space cards it's three telescopes they are potent for potentially dangerous objects you know the 
to you know potentially dangerous to Earth, and there's hundreds of thousands of them. They're not tracking ones of football pitch size. I mean, sometimes you do it if it's very close, which if only a football pitch size, it says here, can destroy one city. So even a football, you know, even one's football pitch size, but ones, they're not, they're not tracking them ones so much, but ones that a few kilometers across, miles across, can cause extinction levels. Just like the ones that killed the dinosaurs, so they're keeping an eye on that. Asteroid field is where they start, but if they manage to get through the Earth's atmosphere, they're called meteorites. Do you know God is wonderful? He he put, you know, the atmosphere around the Earth to protect us from most of them, which burn up and explode. The ones that are made of rock, but some the, but the, some of these meteorites are made of asteroids are made of iron iron and rock some of them are made of iron and strong enough and big enough if if even if it's the size of a football pitch but they're made of iron they can get through sometimes the atmosphere they're the ones that cause that giant crater in i think it was arizona or something in america so they, you know, it's a huge impact. So they, they so they set the space cards, you know, and uh, you know it's serious. The Bible does, you know, say in there, he's going to make some get through and strike the earth. This part of God's judgment on earth, I believe, is very soon. You can see, as I said. The things that are happening now with the virus, this judgments, precursors, and seven asteroids I will deal with that past, you know, the Earth is just starts. They're going to gradually get more dangerous. In, in Revelation chapter uh, 8, which says, verse 8, then I saw, uh, I s this is in, during the tribulation, which is God's judgment of seven years on wicked mankind. These are all warnings. Take this as a warning. Then the second angel blew his trumpet, something like, that looked like a huge mountain on fire, was thrown into the sea, and a third of the sea was turned to blood, and a third of the living creatures in the sea, and a third of the ships were destroyed. So something that looked like a huge mountain on fire obviously an asteroid this god is bringing judgment on the earth he wants people to uh turn to him and you know as a, you know and also repent for jesus christ because so many people are just forgot about god and and sinning on this earth and every thousand years uh, god almost like comes to cleanse the earth but this to all three it's either uh you know one and a half thousand years or three thousand six hundred years every time Nibiru comes has brought judgment on the earth noah's floods and the ten plagues anyway some of the these are all the things these are signs i'm going seven asteroids on the first of september Asteroid 2011 ES4 occurred, which was 30 to 49 meters, which is very big near Earth objects. And uh, NASA, you know, still was concerned with that as it flew by because it came f fairly close on, you know, astronomical terms. And, and it was fairly big, so they kept an eye on that. And then on, that was on the 1st, on the 10th of September, 2020 QU6. Uh, and let me see. That was uh, on the 14th of uh, September, asteroid 2020 QL2. 
No, sorry. On the 10th of September, Q 2020, QU6 occurred on the 10th of September, measuring roughly 3,280 feet, 1,000 meters wide, or large enough to cause a catastrophic impact if it hit the earth. So luckily, it was not very close to us. 1,000 meters wide. That's 3,280 feet. Luckily, as I said, it passed by. On, that was on the 10th of uh, September 2020, Q6. And then there was on the 14th of September 2020, QL2. Uh, one of my brothers kindly gave me the link. Near, this is it. Near Miss Asteroid, Q. 2020 QL2 as big as a football pitch but even so can destroy a city to fly past Earth well that will happened on the 14th of of September this is here among recent near Earth objects it's one of the biggest but won't be terrifying but not close uh, as the rock that flew past less than 2,000 miles from us in, Aus in August so it is a near-Earth object, one of the biggest it was. An asteroid the size of a football pitch is to whiz, whiz past the Earth on September 14th. The giant chunk of rock named Asteroid 2020 QL2 is up to 120 metres in diameter, or the size of a football pitch. This asteroid among the most notable space events because it's it's the large, largest for some time to be coming this close to the Earth. Trust me, uh, they're going to, because this is God's judgment coming, they're going to be not only close, some will get through, and they will be even bigger. They said it was the largest for some time, but it will be even bigger. Luckily, it has no chance of hitting the Earth. This is it, QL2 uh, f fly past at the speed of 24,000 miles an hour and within the distance of 4.2 million miles. Space objects that come within 4.6 million mi miles are potentially hazardous by NASA. So that's how they rank it, and that was 4.2 million miles. So anything coming within 4.6 million miles are labelled potentially hazardous and that, and that asteroid 2020 QL2 falls in that category you know um, also that's, this is this object 2020 QL2 was first sighted on 14th of, of August and this close encounter won't be as close as the asteroid that passed on the 16th of August 2020 QG that lump of flying rock was only 1830 miles away you, you know that is it is increasing as I said they're in, increasing quite a lot these asteroids and there was another asteroid passed on the 16th of September called 2020 DWS another one you know near earth object on the 17th of September was quite interesting my brother Simon kindly uh, sent me the link two asteroids on the same day 2014 RNI 1 and 2020 QJ33 it says here an asteroid estimated to be bigger than London Bridge is set to enter earth's object orbit on the 17th of September which just went. This asteroid known officially as Asteroid 2014 QJ33 will fly of 17th of September at a speed of 19,371 miles an hour. NASA is tracking the asteroid which is predicted to be uh, 157 to 360 feet wide could be bigger than London Bridge but nothing to worry about as it's about one and a half million miles away from the earth 
in it. Uh, that was quite interesting. On the 17th of September, two asteroids flew by. The one I said, 2020 QJ33, and then another one, 2014 NRN1. Can you believe that? And then on the 24th of September, 2020 SW, covered by Paul Begley, that was quite a worrying one, he said, because this one was six meters across. Okay, it doesn't sound very big, but it, it flew closer than the satellites. Paul Begley covered it. Closer than the satellites. Only 16,000 miles. You know, only 16,000 miles up. And not only that, it flew over New Zealand and Australia. Very possible it could have been seen burning up in the atmosphere. So that, that was... Can you imagine if that was not six metres, but, you know very huge like a football pitch size and only 16,000 feet on, on it, that happened on the 24th of September flew over Australia and New Zealand covered by Paul Begley very, I don't believe it I just actually spotted another one just by <laughs> which I missed which I will add to this I thought there was seven now there's about eight I can't believe it uh, let me see. Uh, let's see. On the 8th of September, that's another one I missed, an asteroid known as 2020 PT4 will move past the Earth and the Moon in what NASA is also describing as a near Earth object. I can't believe it. So the asteroid is much smaller than 2010. FR, but travelling even faster at the speed of 7 miles per second, this space rock will also pass much closer to the planet, about 4.9 times the distance between Earth and the Moon. The asteroid is about the length of two lorries, and although that seems big, if it collided with the Earth at any point in the future, it would probably explode in the atmosphere, causing not as much damage. But, uh, but you know what? They the Bible does, so you can see these are just some examples. Yeah, all these ones there. I will add uh, the one I missed, 8th of September, uh, PT4, 2020 PT4. As you can see here, 1st September, 8th of September, 10th, 14th, 16th. 17th was 2 and 24th. See, they're increasing and it all happened in just September alone. These are precursors. God's judgment is coming very near. So, you know, if you haven't, that's why I put God's judgment is coming near. This is, it is using the Buru and that's dragging it here or knocking the asteroid belt towards us every 3,600 years or, you know, every. Uh, you know, 1,800 years. It depends on the cycle of Nibiru whenever God brings judgment. Because, as I said, the, the sins of the earth are getting worse. And this coronavirus is, is also part of God's judgment. Though the elite spread this on purpose, God is in control. You know, he can make this happen. Uh, when it's time, time for you know cleansing the earth, as it were, the sheep from the goats, as the Bible says. And uh, let me finish off with some scriptures. People might mock and scoff and say, you know, that it's, it's it's nothing. But you know what? Us. This is this is real. Whatever's happening is real. I mean, even. Ben Israeli News Live insider he might not even be in the truth, I'm not sure told him that they the elite or the female government know that we're passing through an asteroid field this is God's part of God's judgment and it's going to get worse whatever happens now it will get bigger and 
more severe and get through because there's at least two or three that God will make astro you know about three asteroids to pass into the earth and hit the, the sea and bring judgment on the earth I saw a documentary um, I remember seeing a documentary about a couple of uh, about a, cu a, a couple two husband and wife gospel singers called Precious Memories and why I say that is because spend as much time with your loved ones as possible for life is unpredictable you know look at the coronavirus that's happening around the world life is unpredictable and only temporary you know don't think you know uh, you know that I'm gonna live forever so you know like I said if you got only God and it can protect you if you put faith in Jesus Christ and repent for his name he will safeguard and protect you from what's coming, his judgment. As I said, you know, one of the uh, gospel singers, his wife, they, that was diagnosed with cancer. So you see, life is unpredictable. Why I'm saying that, and temporary, don't think you're going to live forever. And if you want to survive what's coming, only if you put faith in Jesus Christ, uh, you know, whatever happens, he will protect you, God will protect you, you know, and if, if it's God's will, and, you know, you die, whatever, there's a resurrection hope, and John, John, uh, it's John 5, it says, John, John 5, uh, 21 to 29 which said this is when uh, there's, a, there's a hope of a resurrection for you and if you put faith in Christ you have a, a hope of seeing your, your, your loved ones again you, you know that's a promise See, just as the father raises the dead and gives them life in the same way the Son, Jesus Christ, gives life to those he wants to. Nor does the Father himself judge anyone. He has given the Son the full right to judge. So that all will honour the Son in the same way as they honour the Father. Whoever does not honour the Son does not honour the Father who sent him. I am telling you the truth. Whoever hears my words and believes in him who sent me, Jesus said, has eternal life. He will not be judged, but has already passed from death to life. I am telling you the truth. The time is coming, the time has already come, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, as Jesus Christ, and those who hear it will come to life. Just as the Father is in himself the source of life, in the same way he has made the Son to be the source of life. And he has given the Son the right to judge, because he is the Son of Man. Do not be surprised at this. The time is coming when all the dead will hear the voice and come out of their graves. Those who have done good or dead will rise and live, and those who have done evil will rise and be condemned judged so you know there's a resurrection hope if you put faith in Jesus Christ and also speaking to Martha again uh, Lazarus his, her brother died and Jesus came to raise him up God has given Jesus the power to raise the dead if you put faith in him no matter what happens if it's God's will that we don't survive or what's coming. John eleven twenty three to twenty six. But obviously some will will gain a rapture and be taken up alive. Body will change. So your eleven twenty three to twenty 
23, John 11, 23, your brother will rise to life, Jesus, Jesus told her. This is it. About Lazarus di dying, uh, Jesus said to this and added, our, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, fallen asleep, but I will go and wake him up, Jesus said. The disciples said, if, if he is asleep, Lord, he will get well. Jesus meant that Lazarus had died, but they thought he meant natural sleep. So Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead, but for your sake I am glad that I was not with them, so that you will believe, let us go to him. And then when he arrived, when Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus, Lazarus had been buried for four days before. Bethany was less than three kilometres from Jerusalem, and many Judeans had come to see Martha and Mary to comfort those over their brother's death. Now, and then I skip it to verse 23. Your brother will rise to life, Jesus said. I know, she replied, that he will rise up to life on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Listen to this. Whoever believes in me will live, even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die at all. You see, this is... Some of them will be alive when the Lord comes and will be taken up in the air, but transformed to body. So, I am the resurrection and life. So if you put faith in Jesus Christ, you, whatever happens, if it's God's will, you survive or not, God's judgment, you will gain a resurrection of life and see your loved ones again. Anyway, God bless. Thank you very much.